Hey, welcome back to the channel. Franco here with Trading Futures Live. In this video, I want to review, I want to more like recommend the book uh, about Van Tharp, Trading Beyond the Matrix. This is a book that I uh, read back in 2019 and uh, I think it, 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 um, it made me change a lot of things that I use nowadays in my trading that no other book has taught me, right? Um, this is a book that I don't use on a daily basis, but certainly is, a, is an important book that changed my way, my way of view or how to perceive trading, right? So there are three main aspects in this book that I think are useful, like uh, Van Tharp said, like the majority of the mainstream or let's say other book, conventional books, they say trading is around 80% psychological. Van Tharp says it's 100% psychological. And I somehow agree with that because it got nothing to do with what the markets are doing, but how you are perceiving or trading any given day. If the market is moving and you're in in the trend, you're making money. If the market is moving, but you're in, tra in trades, you're not making money. So it all depends 100% on you and your decision matrix, right? So <clears throat> uh, one of the important aspects of, uh, of the book, obviously, is a psychological, right? And he goes over uh, the, beliefs, the belief systems and how the crowd has not the setup for trading and and if if we think about it, it's kind of obvious because um like 95 percent of traders or i, I wouldn't say 95 percent of traders but 95 percent of the person of the of the persons that try trading they fail and what they have in common is that uh, the belief system is um quite generic uh, in the population, right? So, and trading being a counterintuitive discipline, meaning that um, when the price is dropping is when you should buy and when you price is going up is when you should selling, um, uh, you should be selling, that's, uh, that's very counterintuitive, right? We don't do that in other aspects of life. Like if you go to Walmart to get a TV and if it's cheaper, you want to buy it, right? Because you, you think, all right, the price came down. I want to buy it. But when we talk about financial instruments, it's not the same for a reason, right? And the reason is that you're risking your capital, right? And, well, that's part of the counterintuition that trading uh, has. So he addresses very well. Uh, he addresses uh, very well in this book. Um, so that's one of the thumbs up for the book, belief system, how to change them, how to understand them and how to, how to not only uh, understand them, but understand which one is serving you, in, serving you in which one is not serving you in trading, right? Uh, you have, a, you might have a belief system that serve you in other aspects of, of your life, but probably in trading, uh, they are not serving you. So you need to change them if you want to be a successful trader, right? Um, so that's, that's, the, that's one part of the book. The other part of the book is that, and I think um, a lot of other companies have started to adopt this um, approach to the market and is um, assessing the risk. And you um, heard me talk in my recaps, in my daily videos, so oh, I'm risking one R. I'm going for three R. So the uh, that R is for the risk. Is for the risk. So Van Tharp is the only one so far that I've known. Um, uh, he um, treat trading with this approach, and I know other traders. And like for instance, I do edge wonk for my trading logging system. And they, they are all in with ours. They have all type of calculations based on 
what Van Tharp designed a few years ago, right? Um, so that's that's a second thumbs up for the book. Um, the the part of assessing risk and calculating your risk and analyzing your system. Um, and he says also like whatever you cannot uh, uh, whatever you don't measure you cannot change and that's very true. I I will always tell to other traders you know initiating in trading like regardless of how you're trading you need to start measuring because I didn't measure I didn't track my trades at the beginning and my learning curve was hurt big time because I didn't log my trades I didn't understand what what was what was I you know what, what was I doing so I do encourage people to start tracking their trades and start analyzing and thinking all right I made this mistake and oh and this is another thing that he uh, talks about your efficiency in this book um, your efficiency how if you have a plan right um, how you execute that plan how efficient are you um, and and that and how, how efficient are you executing the plan if you made mistakes right every time you um, execute a trade you forgot about this and that indicator or whatever it is the case um, you were against the trend when in your plan is not going against the trend and so on and so forth so um, also I need to call Edge Wonk in this very good because Edge Wonk let you it, it was like analyzing this and and when I went to review this book I thought like Edge Wonk is designed around uh, Van Tharp's thoughts about the market right so that's very good for that part um, also the the third um, good part about this book is the spiritual journey that he talks about in the book and how meditation uh, can help you um, uh, to try to calm down those emotions that ar arise uh, arise while you're trading because that that's why um, trading is is so um, psychological because all of the emotions comes uh, in every trade because you're risking money not only you're risking money you're risking a lot of things in every trade and I learned that trading is not only about the money but the pride the 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 thought that you can make it or not the your goals your personal goals so everything is on the line in every trade is all right can I make it can I tell my friends I I want to trade can I tell my friends that um, I am a good trader so not only the money make you um, so um, emotional while trading but other other stuff and it, it has to do a lot of like every person is different but for myself was I don't like to lose like I hate losing so um, and, and losing is part of a winning strategy in this in this um, career of trading there's no one that can that can avoid a losing trade no one not even Warren Buffett or uh, Paul Tudor Jones those the those uh, well Warren Buffett is an investor but um, those uh, very famous traders in history they all lost trades a bunch of trades right so I had to work very hard to try to understand how losing is part of a winning strategy and he uh, addresses very well here too so he talks uh, also about the Sedona method a method that I do use almost every day to try to absorb and digest my emotions when I am more uh, I would and I would be very very transparent here when I feel a bad emotion I need to calm myself down and understand and practice that Sedona method to try to absorb and and just calm down my body dominate my body 
to keep trading because if I'm not able to do that, um, I need to step away of the computer, right? So this is a very good book. It's, it's, very, it's a very easy read. It's 350 pages, not very long. The letters are big. It has some exercises that you can do while you read. Um, and certainly will introduce you to um, a different world uh, about trading that the majority of tra uh, beginner traders don't understand, right? So with that, I just say uh, thank you for watching this video. Please share and, and, and subscribe um, and, and press that uh, ring button. Thank you.